Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Krause and we're going to do some more work with area today. Now, normally we've been giving you a rectangle that has been split into two smaller rectangles and we've asked you to use the distributive property to find the multiplication equations and then find the total area in square units. But this time, we are giving you the multiplication equations. So if you notice down here, we already have all of the multiplication equations filled in for you. Your job is going to be to do the shading, all right? Now, if you notice up here, we have the purple rectangle, but none of the smaller rectangles are shaded for us. That's going to be your job today. The very first slide on this assignment are some important directions. Let's look at these together. It says how to shade boxes in a table. Number one. Click on a box or highlight a section of boxes in a table. They will turn blue when they are highlighted. As you notice over here, there's the purple rectangle, and then they show a portion of it highlighted. Number two, go to the top of the page and click on the fill color icon. And they've drawn an arrow and they've circled it to show you what that looks like. When you click that fill color icon, all these different colors will pop up for you to choose from. All right, let's try it. Now, first thing you have to do is click once. When you click it once, you're going to notice the outside is going to become highlighted in blue. That's how you know your rectangle is ready to be shaded. Next, you're going to click at the top and drag down and over however many you need to highlight to shade. They will turn this light blue color. Up at the top toolbar, we're gonna search for that fill color icon, and you can see when you hover over it, it'll say fill color, and you click it, all these different colors pop up. And right now, I'm gonna choose red. When I've done that, there we go. What I had highlighted has turned red. Now I'm gonna try it again for the other half. I click it once, the outside highlights in blue to tell me that it's ready for me to work with it. I click at the top, I drag down and over. Now when I let go, it's that light blue highlight. I go to my fill color icon and I'm going to choose blue. All done. All right, let's look at the first slide here. That's an actual problem. It says shade in the rectangle to match the equation. Now we have in the purple four times five. So my entire rectangle is one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five. I need to show the distributive property and break it into four times three plus four times two. Step number one, click it so that the outside is highlighted. And now I need to start at the top. I'm going to go down four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to make sure it's over three. One, two, three. Now when I let go, I have four times three highlighted in blue. I go up to my fill color icon, click it and find that blue color, or at least something very close to it. And there we go. Four times three is done. Now I have to do four times two in yellow. Click it once, so the outside is highlighted. Always start at the top. Go down four, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna go over to one, two, it becomes highlighted blue. Up at the top, my fill color icon, click that, select yellow, and ta-da, I am all set. Notice on this one, just like the activity from the other day, there is a check your work. So after you are all done shading in your rectangle, you can click and drag this, and make sure your shaded rectangle matches the check your work shaded rectangle. And if it does, you've done a great job. There are three more problems that are the exact same way. 
Remember, if you are not sure how to shade, go back to this direction page and you can go ahead and try it on the try it here slide. You can change the colors from red and blue to something else to practice if you would like. So give it your best shot. When you're all done, make sure you press that turn in button and we will check your work. Have a great day.